We can get like that with our hearts. Oh, it's still good. It's still, oh, it's 90% okay. No, that's not what God wants for your exchange. God doesn't want the wheels to fall off of your calling. God wants you to be ready, primed, hearts of flesh receiving from God. Don't hold on to it because it's going to cause you pain. It's going to remove the opportunity for healing. And unfortunately, the only person that could possibly do it is in God himself. And you're not handing it over to him, our great physician. Hand it over. And then there's a willingness to let it go. (laughs) Isn't it? Because it's, oh, but you know, that sin or that problem or that unforgiveness, I've got a right to it. I'm going to just hold on to it. It's an exchange, people. (laughs) You're supposed to hand it over and get something else better, like the car. You're going to get something else better. You're going to get the upgraded model. You're going to want the heart of flesh. But you've got to let it go. Be willing. And it actually talks about this in verse 12. It talks about us being willing to actually be obedient. To be obedient to God himself. And so for us to be obedient and willing, we need to be able to say, I can let it go. I can actually put myself in a place to receive that beautiful exchange, that mercy, that forgiveness, that grace, that love. Love so that I can love others. Forgiveness so I can understand what it's like, the weight, so I can then pass it on to others. The mercy so I can give that to others in humility. Because I know who I am. I'm broken. I'm battered. I'm bruised. Anybody say amen? Amen. David felt lost. And his joy was lost. And it actually says in that same verse, restore to me. God's in the business of restoration. And it's not just the very basics, but this joy and a joy that surpasses all understanding. A joy that's just not emotional because when you feel God's joy, you can be facing anything and everything. And it's not just happiness. It's all related. God actually creates us this way. But what God wants is joy in us because we know how dearly he loved us to take upon himself the sin of the world and go to Calvary, die on the cross for you and I. That's our salvation. That's how much God loves us to be able to feel that love, that joy. We have to have hearts of flesh. For us to be moved by that. Have you been moved by that recently? How much God loves you to lay down his life for you. If you're saying, oh, you know, I remember that moment, Justin. I remember that moment when I gave my life to Jesus. I remember that joy that just was like this wellspring coming down from here and then bubbling up over us. But have you held God's hand and felt it recently? How much he loves you. Well, perhaps then if you say, well, maybe not. There's something that's getting in the way. Exchange your heart. Allow the good physician to come in and heal. Removing the pain. Removing the sin. Removing the shame. Removing the guilt. Removing what he needs to remove. And exchanging it for a heart of flesh. Don't banish me from your presence. Can you hear the cry of David here? And that's God himself. God's presence is available to us. His Holy Spirit has been poured out. And you can hear David say, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. 
I need your presence. I know who you are. I know what I'm looking for. And you can actually see it right at the top of the psalm. And right at the top of verse 1, it says, Mercy, unfailing love. Do you see those words? Great compassion. Do you see those words? That's what he's received from God in the past. And he's recognizing his rebellion, it says, in 3. In verse 3. But then it talks about this amazing washing in verse 2. I was going to call tonight rinse and repeat. <laughs> but, it's, but it's actually not rinsing we need. It, it's an exchange that we need. So I teach that. Ah. Good job. <laughs> Get rid of that heresy. Wash me clean of my guilt. That's a, an emotion, a feeling. I need some washing to happen. That's my brain that needs to be washed, not my heart. It needs to be exchanged. Purify me of my sin. Thank you, Jesus. Because I've recognized who I am and what I'm going to miss out on. I'm going to miss out on his mercy. I'm going to miss out on his unfailing love. I'm going to miss out on his great compassion. I'm going to miss out on his presence. I'm going to miss out on the Holy Spirit who can minister to me. Don't take it from me, God. That's my cry. And God pours out his Holy Spirit over us. And that's why I'm going to invite our band back up on stage. So I want to do something a little different tonight. I know it's early. You go, man, he's finished quick. What's going on? I know there's pizza coming. Perhaps it's just walk through the door. No! <laughs> This is an opportunity for us to soak. For us to soak. And for us to actually acknowledge. Maybe there's something in your life that you've already had prompted by the Holy Spirit that you need to hand over. And this is an opportunity for us to spend time in God's presence. And actually say, God, here it is. You don't have to name it. You can do that privately. But I'd ask you to put your hands out to God because what you're doing is you're going to exchange whatever you're handing over to God tonight. But if you raise your hand, you're believing in faith for something to come. It's like receiving a football. You've got to have your hands ready for the catch, like cricket. You've got to have your feet ready if you're talking about soccer, football. You've got to be in position to receive from God. And so I'm going to ask us to have our hands in the air if you're so willing. Or maybe not in the air, but just out to receive from God and just say, God, here it is. This is my issue. I've, Holy Spirit, you've illuminated it to me. I now want to hand that over to you. And I want to exchange that now for your mercy, your grace. Your unconditional love, your forgiveness, God. And as you've handed it over, I pray that you let it go. Just like that song that we hate hearing. That you let it go and you let God then replace that good physician, that healing to occur. And I find for myself personally, when I'm actually standing in God's presence singing, there's this amazing thing that God does in my heart. And I pray that he does it here for you tonight. That as a soak in God's presence, heart abandoned, I actually hear from the Holy Spirit. Maybe it's just soft words. You are loved. You're amazing. You mean so much to me. Remember that joy of your salvation? Here's a reminder of that. And it washes over. For me, it's like waves that just beat against me, trying to move me. Sometimes we try to resist God, but just let it go and be willing to obey. So let's stand, shall we? No promises, I'm not done yet. But I really feel the Holy Spirit wants to remind us 2 Corinthians 3 says now the Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is 
there is freedom. And I'm declaring that over people's lives tonight as we sing these words. Let that resonate in your heart. Let that be ministry to you. Thank you. 